So today, I have a rather fantastic little pocket pistol. This is a Smoot new model number four. Now, I didn't even know they made a model number four until uh, recently. And uh, you can see, when you look at it, it's much like the other Smoots um, with a two-part frame. You can see the line in here coming up there. And uh, that is uh, very much a Smoot thing. Um, they were all kind of made with that two-part frame. But uh, this has the aesthetic of a bulldog more than a uh, traditional Smoot. And uh, came in both 38 and 41 caliber. Um, 38 center fire and rim fire, as well as 41 center fire and rim fire. Now, uh, this one uh, is a 41 rim fire, which I found out makes it a rather uh, unique animal. Uh, by and far, most of these were made in 38, both rim and center. And uh, much smaller numbers were made in 41. And from what I can gather, of the approximate uh, 23,000 uh, Smoot number fours that were made, only about 300 of them were 41 rimfire. Um, this was started uh, in about 1877 and released to the public in 1878. And uh, I think it only had a production run of a few years, uh, well, maybe about five or six years. Um, I've heard as high as nine years, but I can't seem to pin it down. It depends where I look. Um, but uh, they were a direct competitor to Colt. A uh, rather well-made pistol, uh, unlike most of the uh, suicide specials of the day. Um, this was a very well-made pistol. All of the Remingtons were. Um, put it as a uh, slightly higher end firearm of the day, a little more expensive. So I just wanted to take a moment to uh, show you guys what the 41 rimfire looks like. It's a fairly substantial cartridge. So this is 41 rimfire short, and this gun would have been able to take a 41 rimfire long as well. But uh, for reference, that's a 22 short. And uh, you can see just, you know, how much substantially larger the uh, projectile is. So, anyway, quite a slug for a pocket pistol. And uh, a lot of fun to shoot, I gotta say. Um, anyway, this one's in fantastic condition. You can see uh, most of its finish is still intact. Uh, very little uh, stippling or any th marks in it. Mechanically, spot on. Very nice little pistol. And like most of the pistols of the day, half cocked to uh, release the cylinder, allow you to load it, and then shoot. And uh, if you wanted to remove the cylinder, you just take the pin out, cylinder comes out. And as you can see, like this pistol is beautiful. It was well taken care of for the last 140 years. Smoot number four, 41 rimfire. So, yeah, all in all, very nice little uh, little pistol, beautiful piece of history. 
Anyway, uh, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, it'll do me uh, wonders, and um, I'll keep bringing you more. You guys take care.